Hey, Carlova Design here and in this video I'm going to show you how to make Le Fetiche Sablier which is a little uh, pencil cup in the shape of a corset. You can find link to the pattern in the description. The pattern comes in both US letter and the A4 formats, so choose one that is more convenient for you and cut the pieces. You will need heavy and stiff leather for this project. I've chosen a black vegetable tan with nice gloss. Thickness of this leather is 3 mm. You can use anything starting from 2.5 mm or about 6 ounces. This is also a great project to use your scraps. I recommend using something heavier for the bottom. In my case, uh, this is about four, four and a half millimeters chrome tanned. So, if you don't have such thick leather, you can probably double the bottom piece to make it heavier. You can adjust the diameter of the lacing holes according to your lacing diameter. The holes on the pattern are spaced for uh, the stitching irons that make 5 stitches per inch or 5.2 millimeters. Don't forget to mark the center on the bottom piece. This pattern also comes with the written instructions and you can find the order of assembly there. Stitch together each half of the corset. You can choose any stitching style you like. I use parallel stitches, you can use cross stitch. Just make sure that your seams are tight and flat.
make sure you don't confuse these pieces because they are not symmetrical. And meanwhile you can trim the top edges to remove whatever is sticking out so you have nice and smooth line. Stitch the darts the same way. You can use hammer to flatten out the seams. Now that we got uh, both halves ready, it's time to stitch them to the bottom. You got the center mark that uh, is between two holes, so you start the right pass on the right, left part on the left from that mark. And actually the best moment to take care of the top edge would be before you stitch both halves to the bottom because then it's going to be a little bit more complicated. 
So I'm doing some sanding to smooth it out and later I'm going to burnish the edge with tokono. While you are stitching the bottom, help the side pieces take the right shape. You can take the bone folder and work with the shape again after you finish stitching. You can also trim whatever is sticking out on the bottom and also make sure the bottom is flat. You may want to shape it a little so when you put it on the table it won't rock. And then sand and burnish the edge. Choose the lacing. I've seen people using ribbons, they look very cute. I'm gonna use uh, the leather string. The length on both sides is about 25 inches. Do not tighten the front lacing very much on top, uh, give it a little bit more air. <laughs> 